Hello everyone, another edition of Life Lessons from the Tennis Court, video number how many? I had a player today, we are reviewing what happened during the week in his matches, so I ask, how did you do? Did you win? Did you lose? What did you do well? What do we need to work on? What was it that made you win? What happened in those moments that you lost? I need information from my player to design the practice. I think the same goes in real life, you know, you want to evaluate how you are doing. If you are in sales, if you close, what did you do to close a sale? Or, or if you lost the sale, what happened there? If you are studying, uh, if you are enjoying it, what is it that you enjoy from the study? Or what is it that you don't like so much about it? If you are employed, what do you like from your job? What you don't? It's kind of a way of going inside and, and doing a checkup. You don't need a doctor to go and, and see how you are doing. You can do that yourself. So in the analysis, uh, he made a few double faults, which I understood because in our uh, practice, I know his second serve probably we haven't been practicing it and it's not his strong uh, weapon today. I said, okay, let's, let's do drills on that. Let's, let's play on, on your second serve. Let's improve your second serve. And he didn't look very happy with that. He wanted to kind of practice the first serve, which he has a bomb and other things. So I asked him, are we here today for long term or for short term? Are we here today today working for you to win 10 years from now when you are uh, 25 in the pros with the professionals or we are here for you to win next week in your uh, local tournament because it's very different. The practice we are going to do today, it's very different if it's with a long-term view or with a short-term view. And he says, okay, let's go for the long-term view. And that, I like that answer because it brings us on the same page. Coach and player on the same page, very important. Same thing happens to you in your personal life. If you have a boss, if you have a coach, life coach, business coach, if you have a mentor, very important that you guys are on the same page. If you are a coach, don't take the money and run. Don't do wrong for your clients or students. If you are a student or a client and you are hiring a coach, you want to make sure you guys are on the same page, that they are taking you where you want to go, they are going with you towards that destination, that you are working together. Very, very important. I hope this makes sense to you. I hope this there is something in this video for you. Whatever it is that you are doing, most likely you are not gonna get there alone. If you are a coach, you need someone to coach. If you are a, a sports person, if you are a business person, if you are a family person, if you are a friend, if you are a student, you want someone by your side with advice, someone to go to for consultation, someone that goes with you because they care about you. And the journey, I think, is going to be more enjoyable that way. You learn a lot from others. Use them. Take advantage of them. A lot of people have a lot to give. 
when you are open to receive. So with that, until the next video, live fantastic.